Hello folks, it's George with Imaginomic, and today I'd like to show you the differences between the portraiture plugin for Lightroom and the portraiture plugin for Photoshop. We have a lot of questions about the differences between the two, so I'm going to do this video for you that'll show you what's going on. To start with, I'm going to send this image over to Photoshop, so we'll be working on the exact same images in each application. We're going to right click on the image, select Edit In, and then Edit In Photoshop CS6. You can also do this with hotkeys, Control e on a PC and Command e on the Mac. When the Edit In dialog pops up, we're going to select Edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments as this is what you normally do inside of Lightroom. The image pops up real quick over in Photoshop. So now we're going to go to Filter, Imaginomic, Portraiture. Notice I've got hotkeys assigned there as I like to use those in place of the mouse. We've got the image opened up in Portraiture for Photoshop and now we're going to go open it up in Portraiture for Lightroom. To use Portraiture in Lightroom you right click on the image, select Edit In, Edit In Portraiture. Again we're going to use Edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. We're going to click Edit. It's going to create a TIFF file and send it over to Portraiture for Lightroom. We now have the same image open in Portraiture for Lightroom and Portraiture for Photoshop and we're using exactly the same settings over in the Develop tab over here for each one. They're, they're duplicates. So you can see that the images are exactly the same in both the Portraiture for Photoshop on the right and the Portraiture for Lightroom on the left. The main two differences between the software as shown right here. Number one is in the Photoshop version of Portraiture you have the ability to create output layers either transparency mask or a separate layer and you can see that here with output we can go out to different versions of layers out there. Over in the Portraiture for Lightroom version we don't have that ability and the reason is it's not our fault it's because Adobe doesn't support layers in Lightroom so we can't put out layers in there wouldn't do any good so that's the main difference there I'm gonna shift click these images down here and select the three of them I'm gonna right click on them select edit in portraiture the dialog pops up again edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments we're just gonna keep that the same we're gonna click edit and when we do you'll see it create the TIFF files up top here it opens the images up in Portraiture for Lightroom, which is on the left. We have Portraiture for Photoshop on the right over here. And here's the other major difference between the two versions there. Because I have three images selected that I have an image queue in the Lightroom version. It shows image one of three, and then it has a list box here that actually contains the images that we've sent to it. So what you can do is you can arrow through the images one at a time just by clicking on the arrow and it'll go to the individual images and then you can make changes to the individual images. That just gives you a little advantage in that if you batch process several images instead of having to open them up one at a time and make changes in portraiture you can select all the images then you can arrow through them with our queue and then you can make individual changes to each image. And over in the batch process in Photoshop that we have a video up on our website that shows how to do that, you can basically do the same thing by having the portraiture plug-in pause. But those are the two differences. You have output layers in the Photoshop version. You don't have output layers in the Lightroom version. In the Lightroom version, you have an image queue that allows you to step through each individual image and apply individual settings. In the Photoshop version, you don't have that queue because you can do the same thing with batch processing. The other question I get asked a lot is this, well I have both Photoshop and Lightroom, which version of Portraiture should I purchase? Well, you know, you could purchase like both of them, because I mean, after all guys, we got to pay the bills, but in all reality, I base it on the type of workflow that you have, and I differentiate between the workflows like this. With Photoshop, you have a lot of mature retouching tools out there plus you have the ability to do layer masks you don't have that over in Lightroom and the retouching tools over in Lightroom with the adjustment brush are, are pretty rudimentary and they're kind of difficult for people to pick up on there the way that they work there's a big paradigm shift between Photoshop retouching and Lightroom retouching so in general what I tell people is if they, you want the highest quality most creative output you're going to use a Photoshop based workflow if you 
have a just an average generalized workflow where you're just making some general adjustments and all, then you're better off with a Lightroom based workflow. Now portraiture works identical in both of them. You can batch process in Lightroom and you can batch process in Photoshop. But the ultimate control comes down to the application itself. You have more control in Photoshop, you have a lot less control in Lightroom. So you kind of have to make the decisions there. Now sometimes you may want to batch process a bunch of images and get them out the door and you want to do everything in Lightroom, well then portraiture for Lightroom is good for you. If you are over in Photoshop and you have some images you really want to tweak down to the nth degree, you may want to run portraiture more than once on there, then you want to use portraiture over in Photoshop. But again, identical the way they work as far as skin retouching. The major differences is having the queue of images in the Lightroom version and over in the Photoshop version you have the layer mask output that you don't have in the Lightroom version. So if you guys have any questions, just go up to the Imaginomic support portal at Imaginomic.com and enter a support ticket with any kind of questions you have, and I'll get back to you really quick. Take care. Bye.